While Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau will be a part of this year's CARICOM festivities, Lloyd Allen joins us live from the Linden Penling International Airport. Good evening, Lloyd. Well, good evening, LaDawn, and good evening, Bahamas. A Haitian-led solution is one of the overarching goals for the three-day conference, the 44th regular meeting of the heads of government of the Caribbean community. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau among the many high-level delegates and the Canadian Freedom arriving in-country just moments ago here at the Linden Finley International Airport. Now, as he de-embarks from that plane, he is being greeted by Foreign Affairs Minister, the Honorable Fred Mitchell, who will then do an inspection of the bar. The two will then make their way to the local residence for the diplomat. Now, on Thursday, Prime Minister Trudeau was set for a number of closed bilateral meetings with delegates, along with a media briefing at 11.45 at Bahama Resort. Again, resolving challenges within Haiti, as well as COVID impact and recovery, emerging health issues, and prioritizing regional food and national issues on the agenda. Catching some flack in the media recently, Trudeau was criticized for divulging details discussed with the Chinese to media during the recent G20. And last month, reportedly told reporters in Mexico City that Canada was working with quoted partners across the Caribbean and indeed the United States and Mexico to ensure that if the situation starts to deteriorate in Haiti, there will be further options. Now, of course, as we hear at the airport, Prime Minister Trudeau just making his way from that plane. And uh, as you can hear in the background, the nation's national anthem is being played uh, among a sea of supporters, uh, all looking forward to the 44th National CARICOM meeting set to be held right here in the capital. Reporting from the Linden Pinling International Airport for the Bahamas tonight, Lloyd Allen, ZNS Network News.